Okay. Here we are back again with Sherlock Holmes and Nemesis after almost a technical hiccup, which I quickly fixed. Uh, we are back again. So, here we go. Returning, returning again. And uh, if you remember last time, we found out that Lupin is aiming to steal the Queen. Rather ambitious, I think. But, then again, he is French. Okay. So, let's see. Where are we last? Here we go. Okay. Sort of... What was I doing? Oh, yes! We're in disguise right now, so it's time to go out into the world. To the, uh, to the lion. The golden lion, actually. So, off we go. No one in the street. Even better, Watson thought my disguise was successful, but I'll have to ensure it works on a tougher audience before I enter the golden lion. Okay, um, I guess Sergeant Ruffles? There, there, Sergeant Ruffles. You'll be an excellent subject. There, there, Sergeant Ruffles. You'll be an excellent subject. All right, let's see if it works. Hello, me old China. Hey, over here, you. When someone with a face like yours says hello to an officer, there's something happening, isn't there? Hey, now going on, copper. I don't recognize you. You aren't from hereabouts, are you? You from Bloomsbury, by chance? <laughs> okay. I ain't. I think you are. I'd even say that you had a hand in the robbery at Sir Herman Grimble's house last night. What? We've been informed that the leader of the gang had taken refuge in the area, and now you're passing by to recover your share of the take, right? Thanks, so, copper. Wait a minute, now. are we gonna get? I'm feeling a little dicky. I had to fetch twenty pounds of coal in the wee hours of the night, all on account of her feet being cold, and the coalman didn't have a bag. What Enough in the already. hell? You'll have to watch over your shoulder because I've got my eye on you. Were we almost arrested? Flying colors. Well, that's, um, I think a case of doing things a little bit too well, at least in my opinion. So, uh, on to the Golden Lion. Since I guess we passed well. We better talk to the cop and recover. Right, Have you seen a bloke from the paper? Piers, his name is. Shh, shh. I'm a secret war with ears. That's right, he's not a... He's not a secret agent, he's a secret wall with ears. That's right, that's right. I forgot about that. And the whore. Hello, Gov. Have you seen a bloke from the paper? Gov? Piers, his name is. You even recruit hey, a big woman fella. as Govs? One of your friends? Hey, uh, you know, he told me if I had the skinny, he'd be sure to line my pocket. It just so happens I've got something he'd kill to know. They're Tell speaking English, I think, but I can't understand what they're saying. Pal. I think he's dosed up with some chap at the Mrs. Fleming's on Malcolm Street. A door with flowers on both sides. He must have a room what? on the first floor. Hey, when he greases your hand, come pay me a visit. We'll have a few pints and after that... <laughs> Tom, I'll think about it. I have no idea what they just said. Uh, no, that's wrong. These controls. X, uh, uh, D, D, D? No, that's left. Uh, L, K. Fuck, escape. No, that, that, that's not it either. Um, T. There we go. That gives me to the point where I need to go. Okay, uh, dialogues. Uh, A, yeah, no, he told me, uh, add the skinny, he'd be. Shouldn't okay, I speak. I admit that I myself speak with something of a Southern American accent, because I live in the South, well, in Arizona, the East Coast, South Arizona, we sort of have a weird accent to ourselves, but I can understand a Southern accent perfectly, but this English stuff just, I cannot understand what the hell they're talking about. Uh, yeah, no, he told me if I add the skinny, what's the skinny? If you had the skinny, he'd be sure to line my pocket. If you had the skinny, you'd be sure to line my pocket. Uh, yeah, if I was if I was broke, he would give me money. Is that so? It just so happen a happens I've got something he killed to know. If I had the skin oh, if I had the skin skinny um uh slang for uh information I guess I think I've heard that before um skinny is information that, that makes no fucking okay uh, uh tell me about it your gent your pal think he got dosed down with some chaps. Mrs. Fleming's on Malcolm Street. I have no idea what anyone's saying out here. Weird talking people. Uh, map. Ma 
It's gotta be M. Ah, these controls. Now, I get to Mulberry Street. What the hell is Mulberry Street? Baker Street. Maybe it's... Oh! <laughs> Duh. Run across the street. Alright, looking for fl flowers on both sides. Here we are. It's gotta be it. Right? This is... I have no idea what these people are talking about. Dialogues. Damn it! Trolls! Okay, uh, prostitute. I tell you, gent, chat. Malcolm, Malcolm Street. A door with flowers on both sides. This has gotta be it. Right? I mean. I have no idea what I'm doing at all. This, this looks like the right door. I mean, Malcolm Street. Flowers on both sides. Leads into Barnes Bookstore. I have no reason to go there. I have no reason to go there. The last thing I need right now is Cthulhu. Wait, maybe this one? What? Flowers on both sides. That one has flowers on... You know what? Never mind. There's a chance that Lupin and his accomplices are still there. I will need to know with absolute certitude behind which door their hideout is in order to steer the events to my advantage. Certitude? So, does that mean I'm not going to go just looking around the doors? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I get it. Search for the... What? what? Work boots. Look, some blood and little scraps of meat. The man must work in a slaughter. Okay, so not Lupin. The footprints are indistinct, but they don't seem to be those of work boots. The footprints are... Mm. Oh, fuck, you're gonna make me measure again. These footprints are size 9. Okay, so I think I've finally gotten measuring down again. Even though it is really fussy. Let's, let's just check I got it here. Okay, so my toe to heel. Size 8. Okay, I finally figured out how to do measuring. Thank God. Hmm, these are work boots. And just for fun. These footprints are size nine and a half. Mm hmm. It's the first door, isn't it? Elongated shape, slender footprint. It's that of a girl, a young girl. If I fucking find Ramona on the other side of this door. Size five, small feet. Small feet. Little feet. Ah, I'm mistaken. I lose all element of surprise if the alarm is given too late. What? Well, just jog lightly away from danger. Okay, so am I just actually supposed to... Alright, uh, fuck, what size... <sighs> Document... Oh, wait a minute. Uh... No. Items. No. Reports. Let's see if I can find... Try to find what. Okay, the footprints left for the paint. Are... Okay, I'm looking for size nine supple leather. I think those were at the back there. So let's try that again. The fucking Ramona. Open the. Open the door. What the? Okay. It's not letting me open the door anymore. Did I fuck up? Seriously? Did I fuck up and not... Because it's not letting me open the door again. Oh my god, I hate this game. Oh, son of a... Fuck it. Okay, after reloading... Let's try this again. Hopefully the door will open this time. Yay! There's a chance that Lupin and his accomplices are still there. I will need... Alright, so let me double check here. The footprints are indistinct, but they don't... They don't appear to be work boots. 
These footprints are size 9. Alright, these are Lupin. Holy shit, it's the Lone Ranger! Hey, don't be daft. I'm just here visiting the bloke I know. Heck writer. Know him, don't you? I don't know nothing. You've got a real trap on you. I'd say you're a real think. What? I ain't no think me. Did he tell you where he was going? See, it's just that he promised me loot he did. Hear this. I was laying low here tonight. Did a big number already, you hear? The barkeeper over the lion told me this joint was emptied an hour ago and paid up for the next three days. And here I am, but I ain't never laid eyes on you, chap. Could be that he left a little something for me in his snug. I'll just take a peek, will I? Fat chance. But if you want to earn a few cents, go tell Eddie, the barkeeper over the lion, there's twice as much as I'd thought. Tell him that little Sam is no longer in the race and he should talk to that champ from Chelsea. So buzz off and hold your tongue, or I'll have it taken out by it. I recognised him. It's Rumkin, a famous burglar. I need to find a way to get him out in order to search the room without alerting the police. Their intervention would cause a commotion and any clues would be destroyed. I must think. I have no idea what that conversation was about, but thank, thank you, Holmes, for summarizing that in a way I actually understand. Okay, so... Clearly head back to the Golden Lion, since that's my only other real option right now. Oi, bloke. You, Eddie. To you, that's Mister. I'm looking for an Eddie, not a Mister. Fleming? I've just been to see the Mrs. Fleming's tenant. Know him? Rumpkin? Shh, keep it down. Secret walls deal? with ears, man. No Secret walls with here. ears. Oh, there's plenty. Big Bruiser, my guard, is part of Luigi's gang, and they're after Rumpkin's hide. Mr. L. If they found out that I've been arboring and dealing with him, my goose is cooked. And yours, too. Ha, I beg to differ, good sir. Let's talk about Ouija. Huh? Maybe I'll just let Luigi know where to find Rumpkin. He might cough up a few bob for that tidbit. How's that sound? Listen, you dirty rat. Luigi and Rumpkin had a, let's say, a difference of opinion. A little matter of honour. And now Rumpkin ain't welcome round here. So Rumpkin comes to me, on the sly. He just scored big, he says. He's gonna cut me a share of the all if I bail him out. It's a risk, mind. Now, if you can hold your tongue, you'll get your share, too. Deal. I have no idea what's going on. Rumpkin ain't ready to leave his hideout, eh? <laughs> Not likely. The very idea of finding himself face to face with a striped scarf has him quaking in his boots. A what? Scarf? Striped scarf, eh? What's the score with that then? The identifying sign for Luigi's gang. Oh. All those blokes have a striped scarf. They got weird designs on them too. That and their long knives is their trademark. Helps us to see them coming and stay out of the way. Good to avoid the hassle. So, what was it that Rumpkin wanted to tell me? Said it's more than ten times what you thought. Supposed to bring little Sam, the chump from Chelsea, eh? And as many other men you lord over. Bring them all at midnight. Really? That's top hole, that. I'm on top it. Top hole? Surely a hole goes to the bottom. 